Hello everybody, this is Nintendo14. Welcome back to more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door playthrough. We are in Chapter 1, this is Part 2. Last time we entered the Petal Meadows, this time we made it all the way to the Schwank Fortress after being told by the mayor that there are some secret treasures down here in the depths of the Schwank Fortress. And off screen in between parts, I bought myself a pal block from the Petal Petalberg shop. I had to backtrack all the way there. And uh, on the way, or on the way back, I did lose a few more extra coins. So rather than you know paying the five coins and the battle block, I had to lose five more coins just to avoid some battles by simply running away. So without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and title this thing. Suspicious statue. I'm pretty sure it's a it's a thwomp bust. Hey, I just remember something about reading about this place in a book. Whenever the villagers were confronted with a monster, they'd hide in this fortress. I guess there's a little bit of history everywhere you get. look, I'm huh, Mario. Alright. <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You've come all the way here to Schwank Fortress. You must want the stone keys. And if that's the case, you must complete or you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if, however, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate, and by terrible, I mean awful. Blah. So, what do you want to do? I'll take you on, since there's nothing else to do. Blah. You're in for it now. It's a game show, Ray. Hey, he's gotta, he's gotta have that little bow, bow tie thing, yeah. just because it's uh, fancy, and we're in, we're in a game show here. Hey, ladies and germs. Welcome, everybody, to the 65th Super Fur Fun Core Quiz. Perk up those ears. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you win. But if you get three of them wrong, you'll suffer a cruel and unusual <laughs> punishment. All right. I'm to mock the amendments. Now for the first question. What's hidden in this place? Now, you could, if you want to, just uh, you get kind of scot scot free off and just... Uh, Look up all the questions online, or if you did and have you know have a player's guide of this game, you have all the questions there too. But but some there's some uh, things that I want to do by just answering all the questions wrong. But I will still go over which is the right answer. So what's in this in this place? Obviously it's the stone keys, but I'm not gonna be answering these questions right because uh, this is there's a certain thing that I want to do by answering all the questions wrong. But um, I will uh, get through all the questions because I believe there's uh, seven questions in total, but you only need five of them. You need to get five of them right. So I'll answer a few of these right just to get through all of them. This one I actually don't remember quite well, but... Ugh. Burping and hicc hiccuping like for the past month. What do one Mr. Softener and one Fire Flower cost at the end of Pellberg total? I want to say it's 16. Yeah, I'm right. So I, I want to get like a few of these right, but not all of them. Right? Ah, that's correct. The question was too easy, but it gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. That was the one I wasn't really much well sure on, but you know, my guests were uh, putting me in the right direction on that. So what's the mayor of Petalburg? Uh, Croup. I got that one right too. <laughs> Didn't expect that one to be right, but alright. Just the back of my memories uh, being relied on. Ah, that's correct. The question was way too easy, but it gets hard. Yeah, he says the same thing. We're not done yet, folks. Question four. Tell me now, where is the Crystal Star? It's in... It's in Rogueport. Why not? Could be anywhere. You blithering meathead. You're wrong. Again. Uh, obviously, that, that last question is from Hooktail Castle. Get one more wrong and you're, something awful will happen to you. Just one more wrong. <laughs> That's what I hear. You, you little knees knocking. Yeah, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. You ready for diabolical question five? How can you get from Petal Meadows to Rogueport? I think um, you race in a cart. Nah, I'm only kidding. I, I think uh, there's a there's a couple more questions after this. I want to make sure I get. I want I want to get four right and then you know the rest wrong. Yeah, that's correct. Question is way too easy. Dang. I'm falling for like the same dialogue to read. Alright, question six. 
Which of the followings have hands? Koopa Troopas, Goombas, Klepts, Fuzzies. Uh, the Koopa Troopas have hands, right? There we go. Yeah, right again. Alright, that was just our fourth answer uh, correct, and then we only have uh, two answers incorrect. Alright, last question. What number of question is this? Question 8. Question 67. Obviously, this it's right there under the dialogue. Like, right there. See where the hand is? That's where it is. But, you know, I'm, I'm just obviously going to choke this question, which is obviously the, the most easiest one. Super question 64. Oh, I just gotta love that. Alright, so. Wrong, wrong, so wrong it hurts. That's three wrongs. How awful for you. We were able to get all through the questions, and here comes the reason why I wanted to get them all wrong. Time for the pain game. Dang. I'll be nice. Beat these guys, and I'll let you pass. But you possibly can't do it. Best of luck, fathead. <laughs> fathead. Oh, that's a nice, great insult. Haven't heard that one before. Alright, so uh, let me go ahead and allow Goombella to do the tattles of all tattles. <laughs> Be excited for it. That's a clep. This a rockhead jerk with spikes on its noggin. What a rocker. Match XP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 2. That hard head is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are pretty use effective usually. If nothing seems to work on it, you can always just run. Well, we can't uh, do that right now because this is a uh, battle we can't run away from. And it's one that we uh, brought about upon ourselves. But luckily, we just bought that pow block that I got in the middle of the of the parts. So we're good. We just knock him down and look at that XP. Rather than answering all those questions, who needs brain? It's always brawn over brain. Am I right? What? It can't be. How did you beat my cute little clefts? Ugh. Fine, whatever. You can pass, but I despise you. <laughs> Alright, with that, all done. We'll just gladly go down the pipe and get, where, get what we're here for. And also, right here, is a red block. Hit it, and a pretty useful badge, the Multi Bounce. Since it's our third and last badge that we can use in our arsenal. We can equip it for free, but that's that's all the badges we can equip. And the next one, we'll have to get rid of one of the badges. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, but um, the next badge we can uh, that we come across, we have to get rid of one of these badges so we can equip it. But uh, yeah, with that, let's uh, let's head left because I like left, and we got a few we got uh, a few more enemies. These ones are kind of uh, annoying to deal with because they got weird attack patterns. That and for one more reason, that'll be in the title. That is a fuzzy. A what a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine. Match XP is HP is three, attack is one, defense is zero. Those things suck up your HP and use it their own to replenish their own. Or use it to wait, let me do that again. Those things suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own. Isn't that the worst? I mean yo, doesn't it? Doesn't that just look told? It just sounds totally gross. I'm suffering so bad, sorry. Anyways, guard against them by pressing A at, at the moment they release you. The timing is pretty hard to master, so uh, practice up. Those things really suck HP. I would, yeah. But uh, since I don't want to just do as much, I want to power smash one of them, and I only have to deal with one of the attacks. Oh, and that thing in the top right, that's not really, that's not good at all. I didn't time it too well, did I? But yeah, if I obviously didn't uh, mention, but the the top right thing with the poison mushrooms, uh, that, those are your bingos. I think with each turn that you do, there's a random item, d depending on like a, a mushroom, flower, star, shine sprite, or poison. I think you can infer on what those each do, but but the main thing about the poison mushroom is that it's it's infamously special on being like if you get if you get those two and then you get the third thing to spin uh, it's, it's like a slot machine but getting three of those in a way that's not no good and that'll cut everything you have in half it gets rid of your entire audience it gets rid of half of your hp flower points and your 
star power. It also affects your partner too by halving its uh, your partner's uh, HP too. So that's getting so getting three of a kind of uh, poison mushroom is not the way you want to go. Instead, you want to go to go for the other four bingos that you can possibly get, like the star that automatically refills your. Oh, if I can get it right here. Can I it? Oh, nice. We did it on the first try. So yeah, this is what it's like. Just pray that you don't get this for a poison mushroom. But uh, if you get a bingo, then you get an automatic full house here. Can I get a... I guess not. So uh, instant bingo that's not a poison mushroom will get you a uh, maximized uh, audience with fans or butts. Well, it's not really exactly full, but it gets increased to almost full. And with that, we get another level up. Great. Thanks to the ball of clips that... No, thanks to the clips that increases that a little bit more, but... Uh, since we got all the H or all the flower points that I really want and the HP, I, I think I can hold off for a little bit more. I think I'm gonna go for BP for for right now because I want to uh, have some BP in reserve for for right now, and I think I'll have uh, HP next time. All right, so let me check my items here. I think uh, hmm, I got one fire flower. This, all right. It's, it's great we have a fire flower because we got uh, this happening to us. We got a four fuzzy uh, standoff here. We got all those. It would have been nice if I actually thought all of this through. Like, I should have had a power block ready for those clefts. And also, I want to uh, have an extra fire flower because on the right side, it's pretty much the same thing. And, you know, I don't have another fire flower for that next area. Alright, so I'll be uh, a thing that I'm going to have to put up with. Yeah, once we get to the right side. Alright. So how has everybody's... Uh, uh, whatever this is being recorded on. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I think it's Friday. In case then, happy Friday everybody. It's great. Coming home from school and watching this. Oh, and one more thing about the TV that I'm playing on. It's the computer monitor. It's not the perfect thing in the world. I mean, it's... the. It, the uh, input lag is it's one to one on all the other consoles I play on, but for some reason, when I uh, what was it when I uh, use the the AV to HDMI uh, adapter, which I use for uh, playing this game, the 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 connection input lag it's a little bit uh, wonky. So uh, it's it's there and it, it in in terms it uh, affects with me. Uh, Trying to hit my uh, X commands and my uh, my guards, especially the super guards, which I haven't been. Okay, well, the last battle that I cut out, it it just totally uh, w wasn't working. But now, as soon as I start commentating about me just not doing well with it, then it starts kicking in. But but with that, um, we are just one more battle from getting the last keystone. That was just the last one, and I really need some HP to stay up because I haven't touched my max HP. Uh, er at all since we started this playthrough. Alright, so the Sunstone. Nice and how a nice nod to Pokemon Sun and Moon. Where you got one the other stone we got was the Moonstone. This one we got the Sunstone. Awesome. I, I can't wait to get my hands on playing uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Which I still haven't uh, figured out on which version I want to get. So I'll just wait until uh, we get on any information on what uh, is going to be in both versions. And so I'm just going to Okay, I guess we're not gonna. Th this, the courage shell isn't gonna do a dang thing. Great. That's why I used the courage shell. I thought it would do something, but no, it won't. And yeah, we're just gonna just take a lot of damage here because I'm really bad at super guarding, apparently. So, yeah. All right. Now it's a good idea to switch to Goombella. Just take out a few of these guys. Take care of the first two guys. That way the turns that the enemies get will be cut in half so we only have to take care of just two attacks rather than four it's the best move I could make no nope. still can't hit the action commands even with Goombella come on I'll just stick with the regular because the regular guard has uh, you have a bigger window to hit the regular guard than you do with the super guard so you know it's a trade-off so if you want to go higher, higher risk, higher reward with the um, hold on. with uh, the super guard, then go right ahead. 
but some the more you do it then the more the more you do the super guard it's it's kind of like second nature and more than often you'll eventually get it but all right that was a really rocky battle because uh, with these uh, two stones once I obtain them I usually have a fire flower in reserve just to use them and I have to heal up Mario he's just not in the best shape right now uh, I think, but then we, we got a, an important battle coming kind up of pretty soon but but um yeah I'll just uh, have Mario in the best of shape keep him top off with the uh, HP because if we backtrack uh, back from here we're trying to get out of here and there's just uh, this guy over here Mjork. Hey, you suspicious types. This is our place. And coming in here is rude. Rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers. If you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I lunch on your head. Uh, uh. Still belching after <laughs> burgers from Carl's Jr. And, and maybe a few cookies after that. You know, we went to the store a little bit ago. But alright, enough of all that. Uh, we're going to tell what, this, what is called the Gold Fuzzy. Get a little stag for it. Whoa, that's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, they're super rare. I'm serious. Wow. You, I mean, you probably see one in 8,192 of these things. Match XP 10, attack power is 1, defense is 0. But hey, even though it's fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, though. How does this thing hide? I mean, look at it. It's so gaudy. I don't know, but... Eh. Just gotta go with it. It's nice being gold, because you look absolutely fabulous. Fabulous. But I'm just gonna knock out a good chunk of its HP with that power smash. Yeah, your jumps are tougher than you look. But I'm not not through yet. Everyone get him. Oh jeez, a horde of fuzzies. <laughs> call the call the pest term term or the pest uh, control. Okay, nope. Nope. Come on. Thank you. Nope. You still that really caught me off guard. Ah, this input. It's been a while since... It, it takes a while to get into uh, trying to hit the action commands because because the, the timing on action commands is it's completely different compared to this game and the other game. So I'm in a kind of a spectacular place right now because mm, I know that last next turn when I take damage for them I'm going to lose a lot of HP because you know how good I am at Trying to uh, actually command some guards here. So I think, um. Hmm. I want to get rid of the Fuzzy Horde because you get more. You get some star points if you take out the Fuzzy Horde right here. Which apparently you don't have to tattle, but. Hmm. I think, trying to think here. I don't want to. think it. I don't want to try it because. Hmm. I don't, I don't think the, fu the Fuzzy Horde does count towards your title because it's already registered but uh, I'll just do it why not what's the worst that could happen you know me get, get, the, get me getting the game over that's a fuzzy horde look at them all it's a mob scene it's crazy match XP is 20 attack is 1 defense is 0 fuzzies come at you at all oh, attack once in order so it says here not to freak out it also says that you use good timing to defend you won't take much damage I'm thinking it might be just faster to whip them uh, rip the ringleader unit though you know yeah, it's true, but you get XP from it, right? And I don't... I, I used all my items just to get into this spot. Alright, so I'll, I'll just uh, go ahead and just power, uh, power smash the Fuzzy Horde. Because it would be nice to uh, get, take care of that. That and uh, I don't want to be taking much damage. Thanks to Mario just taking much, most of it for us. Yep. Yep. Alright. Thank you. I got the Super Guard, right? If we can do this, then we'll, we'll be in great shape and... If we can get the super guards from the gold fuzzy, then he'll do most of the work of the work for us. Just gotta love that super that super guard. But all right, so we just take down half the we just take down half the HP, and all right, we're good. So I want to um, yeah go for another head bonk and break your voice even more and miss the action man. But I want to go ahead and use my sweet treat. I'm not gonna bother with that heart block apparently, which it wasn't in, wasn't my idea, and or it wasn't considered an idea for me to use it. And it's just uh, you just use S H, yeah. you just use S P over, over, just use star power over coins. Jesus, can I say that right, please? 
So we'll just get uh, full here. Try and guard that, yep. And we'll just use regular attacks and this battle is done. Just like that. Doesn't matter if we screw up the attack. We'll just be safe and go with the hammer. You know my luck with uh, with the star. Or, not the star, but with uh, jumping. Jeez. Okay, another 20 star points. Thanks to the Fuzzy Horde giving us a little extra ones. So, York, you got me. Alright. All these guys are going to scram. And we're home free, guys. We're just going to emerge back to the very top. And so now, uh, now we got these two... It's really important things. The sun and the moonstone. We have to go all the way back from uh, Shuang Fortress all the way to uh, just backtrack all the way. For that reason, I'm not going to be battling these guys because I'm all against just battling uh, enemies that, you know, I'm in the process of backtracking. So for that reason, I'm not going to bother. I mean, maybe on other playthroughs I did battle these guys on the way back, but I'm imp impatient and plus we're behind. Or behind where I, I want to make my stopping point before we go to the 30 minute mark. So we're just gonna just keep walking all the way back here. Apparently I'm, I'm too hip to be making cuts through this one area because it's really not that uh, long. Just a few screens and already we're back at the Pedalberg. And I believe there's a few things that uh, are here. Or maybe there's, there's a few things that are different. Look, that uh, now we're... Uh, now, now we're back with the Sun and Moonstone. Coops is not there, which is his name, uh, while he was just uh, talking to us about the whole thing. But um, I think would be would be a good idea is to uh, go into the shop and uh, let's, let's get some items because we got uh, we could really use those uh, once we get to where we need to be going, which is pretty unimportant. So getting one more mushroom and maybe a honey syrup wouldn't hurt. And also, let's get a... Well, let's get that courage shell, because that was the waste of a courage shell that we had la back there. And a firefly wouldn't hurt, too. I'll just go ahead and buy that. Now that'll go towards our shopping points. Once we get uh, three more item spot, that means we get a free mushroom. And so on. We just If we keep buying stuff, then all that good stuff will happen. But alright, since we got everything we wanted, we just... Uh, We'll just keep making our way back west to the very beginning of the Petal Meadows. And then from there, we shall uh, make our way to Hooktail Castle. Um, excuse me. It's it's Mario, right? Look, I, uh, um... See, the thing is, I've I've been waiting here in the hope of you of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and I can't say... You can't say no, but I'm going to throw it out here. Um, see, I was wondering, would you... Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail. Please, I'm begging you. Sorry about that. See, my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly, but this thing isn't just just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is part of it. I guess, a big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started. For his sake. For everyone's sake. Alright, sounds pretty cool, man. I, uh, man, this is embarrassing. See, everybody always always says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. But if I could beat Hooktail, well, I won't, I won't be these those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. No, nope, sorry, I already got the job. I got Goombella with me. I just, just, we just can't do it. We just can't make the cut, man. What? But why? Why can't I go? Come on, you can... Yeah. Why is it like a yes or no question? I don't think so. I'll be polishing my shell. I can't, can't have an adventure do it with the dull shell. Oh. Alright, so... We're just gonna... Ah, I'm only kidding. Why, why, sh why should I be like that? Are you talking... Are you taking me along? Sure, come along. For real? No kidding. You won't... Thank you so much, you won't regret it. Oh, okay. You can glitch to the right like that. Alright. Coops has joined your party. Our second party member of the game. Kumbella as our first, and Coops is our second. And he's special because he's a primer, just like Goombella. Press X to shoot out of his shell. Use it to retrieve distance, distant items and hit switches. 
it's different from Goombella. Unlike unlike her, she, uh, Koops has an ability. Uh, can I just uh, stop trying to blow out my voice or whatever, or my stomach like that, where it's gonna <laughs> make it hard for me to talk? But unlike Goombella, Koops has a ability that you know it acts kind of like an attack on the field. So you can use this as a uh, first strike, but. More importantly, Koops can help us reach items that Mario alone can't reach. And also you can, it's due to 1000 euro, but you can hold that X button and he'll stay in place. It'll be useful for, say, for uh, timing cases. So in battle, Koop, Koops can fight by your side, striking foes with his main move, the Shell Toss. You can also strike all ground-bound enemies in one attack with this Power Shell, which is very pricey to do so this early on in the game. Swipe your your partner in the field, press start, pause, and go to the party menu. Which I'll demonstrate a little bit. For, but for right now, we're just uh, gonna uh, get along here. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Coops. Oh, Mrs. Turtle. Oh, golly, I'm. Hi, hi, Koopy. Hi, Koopy Koo. Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Coops. I thought you were saying. You heard, I thought you, I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail, but you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koop, but I want to be tougher for you. So I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's, it's stupid. So, what if you're uh, timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care at all, all about that. I just want to be... I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, Goopy Goo. I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's my, he's the man. Fine. Ignore me. Yeah, it's gonna hurt us. But it's okay. It's cutscene pain. So it's nothing. I'm sorry, Goopy Goo. I swear to you, I will come back to you a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that. No turning back, I guess. Hooktail's castle awaits. Oh, well, you got it. And there's also some more enemies here that I have to avoid because... Yeah, screw it. I guess uh, these... Uh, th there he is. I thought <laughs> I thought you were uh, going to be on the screen because of that cutscene, but... Uh, what ifs? Just... Maybe some other time Goombas, but yeah. I, I just don't uh, feel like it right now. So here's the first case where you can use Koop's ability. You could just have him hit that badge and we can get it. Happy heart. I think I want to, uh, you know, since we got more badge points, we might as well equip it. Why not? The more the merrier, right? There's a horse tail that I could get again by just whacking it repeatedly, but nah, I'm, I'm fine on that. So we'll just uh, keep backtracking all the way back here. And now that we have the sun and moonstone, we can place one in respectively. Sun moon is in place, and we can come around here and place in the moonstone. It's in place. Part of me is just wanting me to get Pokemon Sun. Because, you know, salute the sun, man. Alright, so we got some text on this, uh, what resembles the pipe. Here beginneth the path to dread Hooktail Castle, weaklings retreateth. He who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must be hit at both switches simultaneously. Ad din din dum. If ye are a pedal bug Koopa, Huzzah, you hold your hold ability maketh a chore to a snap. Alright, so they're just completely uh, this thing, or just telling you that you have to use Koops' uh, hold ability with the shell like that. And what I would do is claw it so that way uh, you move it from your thumb to your index finger. That's where you're going to hold your X button. And then with uh, your thumb in, on the B button, just hit that. It's not, uh, they give you a lot of time to, a little bit of time to uh, make sure you get it right, but. But uh, you gotta feel out when Koops hits the switch on the other side. And then you time that with Mario's hammer, and there you go. I, th I think you can u use Mario's jump to hit the block, but it's better to use your hammer. And alright, with with all that... Oh, and I should also... Uh, uh, once we get into here, because uh, we're in the background for right now, and as we get in here, we're back in the field. So I'll go ahead and quickly show off what it's like to switch partners. So you can just switch between Koops and Goombella if you want, just like that. Or what I would like to do, just push left on the D-pad and we can switch back right just instantly like that. So with all that, we got a 
a new party member. We got the we got the sun and moonstones that allow us to access the Hooktail Castle. I think we should leave the Hooktail Castle up to the next part. So with that, I think uh, it's a good good way to end off here. So next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door playthrough, we're going to be exploring Hook Hooktail's Castle. And we're gonna wait, let me turn. We're gonna explore Hooktail's Castle with our new party member Coops and try and avenge his father by slaying the almighty dragon Hooktail and hopefully getting our first crystal star. So till then, I'll see you guys next time.